Okay, so today it's time for another co-reader tutorial. And this time I will show you how you can sync the Readest app with co-reader. That means that you can, for example, use Readest on any device you own, for example, an iPhone, Mac, Windows machine, or even in the web browser. And you can sync your reading progress with co-reader on all your devices running co-reader. So for example, I can sync that to my Kindle devices running co-reader. I can sync Readest with my Kobo devices that runs co-reader and so on. So this is an awesome thing. I think Readest has saved everything for me because now finally I can use my iPhone when I am outside, for example, or away or waiting in a, in a line or something, I can use my iPhone to read the same book I'm reading on my co-reader e-readers. So let's begin by going to my table cam first. Here we have, for example, a Kindle Basic. I have a Kobo device here and I have a Kindle Paperwhite here, and I have a WeWoods AI Paper Mini there, and an Unix Books Palma here. But I have installed the Readest plugin on all these devices except for this Kindle Basic. So if I read on my iPhone now and start Readest, you see I have two books that I read at the moment in the Readest app on my iPhone. So if I open this book, for example, I can see and read that book in the reader stop. And as you see with my favorite font, Atkinson Hyperlegible Next that I've installed in Readest. So this is a really nice app to read books on your iPhone. You have pages left in chapter and uh, which page you are in the book and so on. So this is an excellent app. You can do a lot of settings for your reading pleasure. So that is awesome. And now if I don't want to read more here, uh, I can, for example, go and close that book. And then I can do a manual sync if I prefer by doing so. And now I stop reading on that. So now when I open this book, this Kindle Paperwhite, for example, I can wake that up as you see here and here I have the same exact book that I read in Readest on my iPhone Air. I can now open that book and it automatically sync to the exact same page where I left off in Readest on my iPhone Air. So I can start reading the same book on this device. I think that's awesome. Really, really awesome. And that works the same on all my AI readers now running CoRead because I've installed the Readers plugin on all them. So it syncs automatically to all books I'm reading in Readest. So now I want to install the same plugin, the CoReader, the Readers CoReader plugin on this Kindle Basic. So let's start the, the CoReader on this up first because on a Kindle you need to exit CoReader to be able to plug it into your computer. So if we go up here and we choose exit and exit again. So now we should exit from CoReader and go back to the normal Kindle UI, Amazon UI. Like so, now we are in the normal Kindle UI. Now we can plug in a cable. So let's do that. We plug in this USB-C cable to my Mac. You can use a Windows computer, of course. So now I have this plugged in to my Mac. Now we go over to my desktop cam. Here we have my desktop. So now we need to start by downloading the plugin first. So let's go to our web browser. And here we can search for um, Readest GitHub. And we go into the Readest GitHub page like this.
here we have the readest project and as you see it uh, is quite nice project now we go into the wiki and here we see the sync with co-reader devices click on that here we have the sync with co-reader devices page and here we have two options to sync with uh, readest but i will use the option two because that is the safest way and for the future it will also sync uh, notes and files and so on so i will use the step two option two like this here we have you need to have the readest app on your um, iPhone or Android phone or whatever device you want to run readest on and sync with co-reader. You need to have co-reader on an um, e-reader. You need to install the co-reader plugin. So now we download this plugin. Now it's downloaded. I go to my finder. Here we have uh, on a Mac, it automatically unzip the zip file you download. So here is the plugin already unzipped. So this folder you should move to your plugin folder in CoReader. So now you need to find your Kindle somewhere. You see here, here is Kindle. So now I open that in another tab. Here we see the co-reader folder, as you see there. Click on the co-reader folder, open that up. Here we should find uh, plugins somewhere. Here we have plugins, open that folder. Here we have all the co-reader plugins. So now you should go to your download and here you have that folder you want to move to your Kindle co-reader plugin folder. So just drag that and uh, drop it to the plugin tab, like so. Now you can open that and see if you have that plugin. You should see that by readest co-plugin here, you see. So now you have installed the plugin into your Kindle co-reader installation and when I have this connected as I have now I will also add a book to see if I can sync it with my readest on my iPhone so now we go back to the book folder where all my books on my co-reader Kindle are we have them here, so open that. Here is the books I have. And we go to the download folder. In here we have the same book I opened on my iPhone Air. So if I drag this EPUB file, only that, no, nothing else, to my books folder on my Kindle, I have now the exact same book that I have on my iPhone Air. That's important because uh, it sings by binary, so you need to have the exact same book file on all your devices to be able to sync. So now I can eject the Kindle again because I have installed the plugin and I have added a book that I want to sync with my Readest app on my iPhone. And meanwhile, we go back to my camera and we go to my table cam like so and now it's disconnected then we can remove the cable like so and now we should start co-reader again so we start co-reader by open call and go into co-reader and start co-reader it takes a while to start the co-reader but you doesn't have to exit co-reader as often only when you need to 
install something. So now we have the book I want to sync there, as you see. But before we do that, we need to go into the plugin we installed. So go up in the menu here and you go to this tool menu, as you see there. And then you go to page two. Here you see the Redis Sync plugin that you installed. You click on that. Here you should log in to your Redis account. This will take a while now, so. So now we are logged in. The first thing you should do before you uh, activate AutoSync Book Configs is a manual pull book config now, because otherwise it can be some problems with this. So now I have synced this book, the same book I'm reading on my iPhone Air. You see I have a, the wrong font and so on because I haven't uh, customized this Kindle for a very long time. But uh, I have synced the book now with the Readest plugin that you find on page two. And after logged in, you find that you have logged in. So now when you have done a manual pull of the book, then you should click e clicking in the auto sync book configs, because that will mean that it will automatically now sync your reading progress from all other devices rather than Readest or co-reader with the Readest plugin. So if we now go to my library again, here, we now open the same book that we read on my iPhone Air, as you saw. Uh, and that was the book we added to this device when the USB-C cable was plugged. So now it has already, as you see, uh, synced your reading progress where you left off on your other devices reading the same book. But we can do a manual sync if we want to be sure the first time by going into the reader sync and do a pull. If you click on push, you push the reading progress to all other devices. If you pull, you plug, you, you get the reading progress from all other devices. So I pull the reading progress here. As you see, book config synchronized. So this is how you install the uh, the Readers Co-Reader plugin. And I can recommend uh, after, uh, you, if you want to change to another device, go to your library first, like so. Uh, now I can turn this off and open, for example, my Unix Books Palma here. And uh, we open co-reader as you see here. And here we have the same books. Uh, and I have uh, the readers co-reader plugin installed on this device too. So I can now open the same book. And the progress has been synchronized to the exact same page. And as you see here, if we go up in the menu, you see that I have the same readest sync plugin installed, as you see. So now if we go back to library before we switch to another device, we can go back to my iPhone Air, for example. And here we open the readest app. Now I can open that book and be sure that I am in sync with all my other air readers that runs co-reader. So the iPhone, I can use the reader stop when reading. I can use the iPad, I can use my Mac, I can use a, a web browser to be reading this same book with all my co-reader devices. Works flawlessly. And of course I can use the, my favorite device at the moment, the Wee Woods AI Paper Mini. So if we go to the homepage on that one, I can now open co-reader like so. 
and open the same book that I'm reading on the other devices and it's synced to this same page as on all other devices. Works great. So now I have I have the Readers plugin installed on my Kindle Basic. I have it on my Kobo Clara. I have it on my Kindle Paperwhite. Gorgeous looking device this is. One of my huge favorite Kindle Paperwhite. And I have it on my Onyx Books Palma. And I have it on my WeWoods AI Paper Mini. Note taking device. And I have Readest on my iPhone Air. And I have Readest on my iPad to my Mac and in the web browser. So I can read everywhere I am at the moment. And the good thing is that I can have this in my pocket instead of my Onyx Books Palma when I'm going at the city, for example. And then I can read a book when I have some time left over and also on my work, for example, or something. And then when I come home, I just start my Kindle Paperwhite, for example, and start reading where I left off on my iPhone. Works great. So I think that's it for this uh, tutorial. So I think um, uh, it's uh, not as hard as it looks to install this plugin. Just download it, put it in the same place that I show you on your co-reader installation. Works the same on your Kobo device and your Kindle device, for example, on all your Android based e-readers too. So be sure if you run an Android based e-reader like, for example, the Unix Books Palma or the WeWoods AI Paper Mini that you have installed co-reader from their GitHub page and not from an app store of anything. Because if you install co-reader from an app store, then it doesn't support plugins. So you need to install it from the co-reader GitHub page. So download the plugin, install it on all your co-reader devices and then be in sync on all your devices, even the web, as I said. Okay, bye.